my buddy Homer Blackburn, who some of you have heard me podcast with on Man With Issues, excellent podcast, by the way, he did a great job. He asked me about the Y-Jack probes. He asked me for a picture of them, and I said, why don't I take it to the next level and make a video that everybody can see about them and maybe answer some questions about them along the way. So we're gonna take a look at the Y-Jack probes, which I happen to have right here. Isn't that convenient? Happen to have them right here. So let's open the box, take a look at them real quick, and maybe Homer can have his questions answered and a few of you as well. Okay, just looking at the box right here, I banged it up a little bit because I've been using it a few times here recently. You can see that it hooks up to the Y-Jack View app. Part number is 67071. It is made in the USA, and you can learn more at yellowjacket.com. And all the cell sheet stuff is right here. We have two Y-Jack temperature clamps, one Y-Jack path range extender. So that's a little bit different than some of the other sets out there. They actually have a range extender that goes with these probes in case you have a really big house or a commercial property you're working on. And the only place that I know of, or only company that I know of who does this, unless I'm mistaken, is iManifold. It has their range extender. So we have the two Y-Jack Dew psychrometers, and they can go in your duct work or on your grills or whatever, and they do have a magnet. So let's take a look. Now we have our USB cable we'll get out of the way. We have instructions. Nobody reads those things, though. Oh, my gosh. All right, two Y-Jack Dew probes, and you can see. So they're about one and a half hands. How useful is that information, guys? How about a tape measure? This is around 12 and a half inches long. The tip itself of the probe is right there around eight, just over eight inches, eight and a quarter. It is flexible, as you can see. And it has a magnet right here, so you could stick it on a grill like this and lock it in place. Or you can have it on a return filter grill with it sticking inside or however you want to do it. On off button, the wide jack path. This is the Bluetooth range extender. Still has a magnet, so if you want to sit magnetize it against a grill or something halfway between the rest of the probes and your Bluetooth interface, you can do that. You have some probes right here. Again, uh, look, I've, I've denoted this is the high pressure uh, line. And these are much stronger than some of the competition's clamps as far as how strong they're going to adhere to a pipe because I've seen some, I'll show you, I've seen some where you clip them onto something and they will drag, but this one, it ain't going nowhere. I've seen something slide down. Uh, first generation Testo probes would kind of drag downward. And I'm not sure about the field piece, the rapid rail clamps. So I would be hard pressed to think that any competition clamps are gonna be stronger than these. They might be as strong, but I don't think I've ever felt a pipe clamp as strong as this one, or stronger, should I say. And if these hook up alongside the P51s, which I have right here, which they look a little bit rugged because I have used them heavily. Still have a charge after a while, let's see. Charge holds up a pretty decent long time. You know, I don't use these things as much as I once would have, being in the field a lot less now than I was back in the day. So you can ask some of the people that use these in the field uh, how the charge lasts. that will be a little bit more accurate. So let's see if we can't link all these things together in the app, the Y-Jack View app, and see how it works. As you can see, we have the Y-Jack Path, the P51 Titan, the Y-Jack Temperature Clamp and Strap, Y-Jack Do, another Y-Jack Do, another Y-Jack Temperature Clamp and Strap, all available. So let's see, what do we have to do here? Let's see if we do pressure temperature. So we have our pressures on there, our low temp, suction temperature, R22, system properties. So we have all of our stuff coming into play here. Let me go to psychometric air calculations. That pops up right here. Relative humidity, dry bulb temperatures are even now a little bit as time goes by. Wet bulb temperature, it's all popping up right here as well. Evacuation is not going to be in play right now because we don't have a vacuum in place. And charging and recovery, let's see what it has there. We have our scale, but our scale is in the truck. So again, we have all our available devices. They show up really well right off the bat, really nice. And it's all of them, all of them popped up. So you can integrate all of these into the refrigeration charging and testing processes. And then you'll have a complete picture of the system with your probes up in the attic for your air temperatures or it's in other parts of the country. Could be in the crawl space, could be in your basement, and could be in a closet. God bless you if it's in the closet. 
you might have your gauges outside doing your pressure and temperature and uh, before you use them you'll zero them out open the atmosphere so I hope that answers a little bit about these particular tools. I had some questions from Homer, and what I found out, if someone has questions out there, and thank you, Homer, for asking that question, typically more people have the same question. And I know that field piece is really popular now, and there's a lot of predecessors that came along long before the Yellow Jacket did. So the Yellow Jacket's just kind of like a baby in this market. And I know it's going to be good stuff because Yellow Jacket made it. They've been around for a long time. You hear the ads all the time, 70 years. There's a reason for that. They make great products, they're going to be real durable. So that's a look at them. If you have any questions about it, you know how to find me. You can comment below. You can email me at hvacshoptalk at gmail.com. You can text me at 910-970-0043. There's many ways to get a hold of me, and I'm always happy to answer your questions. So this is the Y-Jack Probe. This is the P51-870. That's the Cadillac manifold that they have. They have an 860 as well. But this is a setup that is like their top of the line stuff. That's a Yellow Jacket. You can learn more at yellowjacket.com. My name is Zach Ciotta, and thank you for watching.